Hello. My name is Apoorv and I'm the technical lead at Google. Today, I'd like to talk about the top 5 tips to nail a Google interview. And in that matter, any interview. So, let's quickly dive right in. So, the first one is how you think. So, at Google, it doesn't matter how much your grades were, your transcripts, what you have done in the past. All that matter is how you think, how you are able to apply your mind in different things. Are you able to uh, solve problems when you are thrown at difficult situations? And don't just hung up on getting the right answers. Again, I'm quoting that again. Don't just hung up on getting the right answers. We are less concerned about you giving us the right answers versus more concerned about your level of thinking. And whenever you are talking to an interviewer, do make sure that you ask a lot of questions and at the same time make sure that whatever you are thinking you are communicating it right away so that is number 1 number 2 answering methodologies now on youtube or everywhere if you ask a mentor there are a lot of methodologies on how you answer your question but at google I, what i feel is the best one is this star methodology that is s t e r that is situation task action and result so you have to build your answer in such a way that you clearly communicate what was the problem that was in hand what was the challenges what what are the tasks that you took to solve that problem what were the actions that you took in order to solve those challenges and what are the results of once you solve that problem what was the learning and also just make sure as a additional tip that you also add an example to it like a real life example from your previous job or anything that you feel would be the right fit in for that question number 3 cross questioning and looking for the hints from the interviewer so whenever you are asked a question where you are stuck you need some time to think don't just waste your time in uh, sitting silently or writing something do make sure you ask cross question ask a lot of questions and get your more clarity into what is exactly the question that is asked to you give yourself some extra time to think about those problem and how you are answering your question so even if you are stuck make sure that you cross question and you let the interviewer know that you're thinking about it and you will uh, you can take up to 30 seconds as well to just think about that problem and then come back to with a bang on answer number 4 role related knowledge so it is very very important for you that you have the knowledge of the role that you're applying for at google or at any other company as well so make sure that you search well about it know what is required of that job make sure that you do some socializing as well about that and ask your colleagues your friends of what do you think about this job don't just apply to any random job that you see on linkedin on careers page or on portals like nokri or any other portal so make sure that you're right fit for the job at first place make sure that job is new into the system and not very old and also make sure that you are 100% committed once you apply to that job and also make sure that this job is not just to earn more money to just get a change in your life it is as a path to your career growth number 5 this is the most important skill to have i'm talking about the leadership skill So even if you have applied for an individual contributor role like a solution consultant a technical lead site reliability engineer software developer any role to for that matter leadership skill is a must to have in order to grow showcase that you can take up the job and take up the responsibility end to end you will make sure that you are the prime owner center point of contact for the a uh, stakeholder that can be internal stakeholder external stakeholder and at the same time you make sure that you tell your story in such a way that showcase all the projects that you have handled in the past 
in your current job in your past job what are the top skills there a story of how you stood out in a complex scenarios or a project which you handled in collaboration with cross functional teams let's say you were a customer success manager or you are working in a support role so it is very important to showcase that you took the accountability and the responsibility in managing the task that is required in your day to day life you can showcase the top projects that you have done and how you are able to showcase your leadership skills within that project and even if you have failed in that projects so please keep this one in mind that even if you have failed in a project you can showcase of what are the learnings that you had from that project and how you are going to apply those learning in the upcoming or future projects that you will get so this is the most important skill to have most of us ignore this but this is like the most important thing to have while you are applying for an interview at google or at any other major organization the leadership skill so these were the top 5 tips that i wanted you to know brush up on these skills practice them make sure that you write your answers while before going into into the interview directly so make sure you prepare well uh do the mock interviews as the final tip that i can give you is make sure that you ask your colleagues your friend to have a mock interview with you that can be technical that can be interpersonal that can be uh, how much you have collaborated and uh, showcase your knowledge and also make sure that you present your answer in such a way that is again in in a star method that is situation task action and result make sure that you give the right set of examples and show your capabilities within that answer so make sure that you know about the keywords that you need to pick within that answer so that it is very very clear for the interviewer viewer that what kind of answers that they are looking for so all the best and do prepare well for an interview and definitely feel to get in touch with me and i'm ready to help spend some time with you understand where you are lacking and give you the right feedback so that you can prepare and come back well for your next interview